The Singapore Armed Forces SAF team, involved in the airdrop of humanitarian supplies into Gaza, returned home on Tuesday, April 2, after a two-week deployment in Jordan. They had delivered via airdrop over 20 tons of food supplies, which is equivalent to more than 59,000 meals, said the Ministry of Defence Mindef. This was Singapore's third tranche of humanitarian aid for Gaza. The first package of aid, consisting of supplies and funds raised, was delivered to the Egyptian Red Crescent in early November 2023. Later that month, medicine, sanitation items and water filters were also delivered to the organisation. In the latest humanitarian mission, C-130 transport aircraft and crew members from the Republic of Singapore Air Force and Singapore Army conducted the airdrop operations from Amman, Jordan, together with the Royal Jordanian Air Force. The food items were contributed by the SAF and non-governmental organisations, such as Relief Singapore and Caritas Humanitarian Aid Relief Initiative Singapore. There were also some supplies from the Jordanians. Mindef added. Welcoming the returning crew on Tuesday evening at Paya Lebar Air Base were Chief of Air Force Brigadier General B.G. Kelvin Fan, families as well as senior officers from the SAF. Your ability to deploy swiftly and to complete the airdrop operations successfully and safely is testament to your operational readiness. Proficiency and professionalism, B.G. Fan said. Speaking to reporters on Tuesday, the contingent commander for the deployment, Lt. Colonel Darrell Go, reflected on challenges such as the unavailability of drop zones and last-minute cancellations of flight schedules due to the ongoing conflict in Gaza. I am proud of my team members, coming in from across MINDEF and SAF, coming together on short notice to execute the mission outcomes, he said. The ability for all of us coming from different parts of the SAF. From different services, working together to execute the mission smoothly is only possible because of our regular training together, as well as cross-service training and strong emphasis on standards and fundamentals. Singapore has repeatedly called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire, as well as the unconditional and immediate release of all civilian hostages from Gaza. During a recent visit to Israel, Minister for Foreign Affairs Vivian Balakrishnan told Israeli leaders that its actions in Gaza have gone too far. Israel's retaliatory strikes in Gaza began after the October 7 Hamas attack on southern Israel, in which one 200 people were killed and over 200 people were taken hostage, according to Israeli tallies. More than 32,000 Palestinians have been killed in Israel's offensive in Gaza, according to Palestinian health authorities. On Tuesday, aid organization World Central Kitchen said an Israeli strike killed seven of its workers in the Gaza Strip. Citizens from Australia, Britain and Poland were among the fatalities.